Hey YouTubers, got another little yard project I want to share with you guys in a way of working a little bit smarter rather than working harder. Uh, today I'm going to clear out some of the underbrush that surrounds the house, mostly in the area between the lawn and the woods. Uh, once you get deep enough into the woods, there's not enough sunlight for the weeds to become much of a problem. And of course, in the lawn, I keep them under control, but there's sort of a no man's land uh, in between that goes all the way around the house. And uh, I'm going to be trimming that with this. Um, rather than using a string trimmer attachment, I'm going to use a hedge trimming attachment. Um, it cuts a much larger area than a string trimmer would, and it makes a nice clean cut, whereas a string trimmer um, throws a lot of debris everywhere and makes a lot of mist. And that's a problem because there's a lot of poison ivy out here. And uh, going at it with a string trimmer, you just make a fog out of poison ivy and you're going to get it all over yourself. Uh, I am going to be using some protection. You can see i got my pants legs tucked into my socks. I've saturated my socks in insect repellent um, because there's ticks out there. I've got my sunscreen and i got my earplugs. So uh, let me show you what the area I'm going to be working in looks like and then you can see what kind of job this does. So here you can kind of see back into the woods there's not much growing but here along the edge of the yard I've got all of this stuff. So uh, I'm going to clear 99% of this out all the way back to the tree line. Now I say 99% because there are a few dogwood saplings and some other things in here that are desirable but most of this I want to get rid of including that little sweet gum you see popping up right here next to the yard. That's actually a pair of them. Uh, I'll be taking those out a little bit later on. But uh, this stuff here, I'm trying to clear that with a string trimmer is just a nightmare. So uh, you'll see how much better this goes. Okay, this gas is from last year, but I put stable fuel stabilizer in it. So uh, let's see if this thing will even crank. I've switched to using an electric string trimmer and that's what I use around the house and the only reason I kept this gas model was to use it with the hedge trimmer to knock back these weeds here and also I like to edge along the edge of the driveway uh, with a uh, edger that sort of cuts a groove in the grass right where it meets the concrete. So uh, let's see if we can get this started and get going. Whew, I ain't gonna lie to you, that's hard work, but it sure beats doing it with a string trimmer. You're trying to use a string trimmer for something like this and you're just gonna get weeds wrapping around the head and you're gonna be very ineffective at cutting the stuff down. This is three, four times faster and nothing stops it. Uh, you can cut down uh, weeds and shrubs quarter inch thick on the first pass. And so uh, let me flip this camera around and show you how much better this looks now. All right. 
you got lawn and you got woods and nothing visible in between unless you come right up to the edge. So a uh, big improvement in how the yard looks and uh, I like having a little bit of a buffer between the yard and the woods. Honestly, the hardest thing to cut is this tall zoysia here that I'm not mowing. The zoysia is kind of creeping in there and taking over more and more space. And so uh, that's uh, kind of, the zoysia is actually choking out the weeds to some extent. But uh, I say this is hard work, but it's not any harder than it needs to be. Doing this with a string trimmer is just crazy. So uh, don't. Use a hedge trimmer instead. You'll be a lot better off.